everybody? There are those days where you just wake up and you feel like you're a little stiff. You have a little kink in your neck. You're not able to turn your head as much as you'd like. And so you feel like your day is going to be affected by that motion. And I want to give you a quick tip just to get things moving a little bit using the three act slide. So we all know that the body is one big chain reaction. So it's going to be important to get everything kind of moving so that we can work right up the chain to get things working. So I'm gonna just show you a little bit of a slide here to help start moving those hips. So you're gonna place your left foot on the board in a place that you can feel comfortable sliding to these blocks. Now I've moved my one o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock, and six o'clock block into that middle ring so that I don't have to go very far to just slide in, bend a little bit, get a little motion going in the hips here and rotate myself right around. And I'm gonna go through that progression a couple times just so that I can feel comfortable, I feel balanced, I feel secure, I feel myself pushing into the board so that I know that all these lower leg muscles are being engaged and I'm starting to work. As you can tell, just by sliding here, I'm getting a little bit of motion going in my ankle, which is key every time I bend a little bit of motion going in my knee and a little bit of motion going in my hip. And as you start to warm up, you can just sink a little bit further. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my arms. So as I hit that block, I'm gonna twist. And what's easiest is to start moving your head too. So I'm gonna let my head follow my hands. And I'm gonna hit that block and I'm gonna let that head just follow my hands around so that I'm really getting a bunch of motion in that upper spine and neck as well. And as I go, I just feel like I can get around a little bit further every time. So I'm going to go through that progression a few times. I'm going to do the same progression, but I'm going to keep my head facing forward. So here, it just means that my neck is getting a little bit more range of motion because the body is turning and the head is staying straight. And I'll go through that a few times. And every time I feel like I'm just getting a little bit looser and I'm getting a little bit more turn in that upper body. Okay, great. I feel like I have more motion for sure going this way. So what do I want to do? I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. 